Hi children, in that previous video we discussed about the squares and square roots concept, right? So after the completion of that video, we are going to discuss about that uh, algebraic equations in this class. Okay, so before going to discuss about that equations, we have to discuss about that uh, some terms there. So some terminology there, we have to discuss about that one. Okay, so first thing variable. So what about that variable here? Okay, why madam here you get that heading as algebraic equation, but why you are writing here variable? Why? Because uh, without a variable, there is no algebraic equation. Okay, why? Because uh, you may know about that one later. So see here, what about that variable means a symbol which can take any value. Okay, a certain symbol which can take any value of a set. Okay, so a symbol is there. It takes that any value which means it doesn't have that any a particular value or a fixed value okay so what is the definition of a variable means a symbol which can take any value of a certain set a symbol which can take a symbol which can take any value of a certain set is called variable. So, what about what is the meaning of this uh, definition means a symbol one of the symbol is there it has one of the value in that one set and another value is there in that another set. Okay, for example say here x, y, z in generally mostly if you don't know that unknown unknown value is there. So, we have to go for that one of that uh, variable. Okay, you know that uh, idea right if you don't know that what is the cost price of uh, one of the book. Okay, but you want to purchase that 10 books, then what, how you will write that equation or how you will write that expression, okay, you, you don't know this one exactly, but in the previous classes and previous uh, chapters, uh, somewhere you may take that uh, instead of that number, you replace it that some letters, right, okay, those letters only we are taking here variables, so a symbol which can take any value of a certain set is called a variable, so here I take in that x, y, z, in that number systems also we take in that, okay, let a and b are any two numbers, we are saying that a and b are any two numbers, Actually, we are discussing about that numbers, but we don't know that what are those two numbers. So, instead of that numbers, we take in that A and B. So, A and B are called here variables. Okay, instead of that numbers, which symbols we are taking, those are called variables here. Okay, so we can take that A, B, C and so on. These, these letters also, we can take that one. Okay, so here for example, I am going to write that 2x is equals to 4. What is that? 2x is equals to 4. So, actually here 2x means 2 into x is equals to 4. Okay. So, 2 into x means in this case here x is equals to value is equals to 2 only no. So, 2 into 2 is equals to 4. So, in this set here 2 is satisfying x. Okay. So, what is the value of x here? That is 2. Next, here I am going to write that 2x is equals to 6. 2x is equals to 6. So, what is the value of x here? That is 2 into 3 is equals to 6. Clear? So, just observe this one clear, clearly. Here x and here also x. The variables are same or variables are different here? Variables are same only, no? Okay. But the value of x in this set is 2 and here the value of x in this set is 3. What is the difference here? Is there any difference in that uh, symbol? There is no difference in that symbol. Here also I taken as x and here also I taken x as unknown value. Okay. But here its value is equals to 2 and here its value is equals to 3. So that's what I am saying that it doesn't have that a fixed value anywhere. Okay. So in this set this is having 2. In this set this is having 3 as that uh, value. Okay. So that value it may differs. It may varies in that different sets. Okay, that's why here a symbol which can take any value of a certain set, it can take that any value of a certain set depends on that given situation. Okay, so those are known as variables. 
those are known as variables so after that variable we have to discuss about that constant okay so what about that constant a symbol which has a fixed value a symbol which has a fixed value okay a symbol which has a fixed value is called a constant okay variable means it may take that any value it depends on that different sets and it depends on the different cases but here what they are saying about that constant here a symbol which has a fixed value they are saying okay wherever you will write that symbol that values remains the same okay that value remains the same means here we have to take that one as numerical values okay so in that variables we take in that a b c and so on no? so those all are literals what we will call those those all are literals so what we are going to take it as constant here 1 2 3 4 and so on okay here 1 2 3 4 these all are that symbols right these symbols are having that a constant value sr no here for example i am going to write 5 1 2 5 1 2 i am going to discuss about that one here so what is the face value of this digit wherever you will write that one its face value and its value is always equals to one only you know wherever you will write here 5 1 2 or here 1 2 0 here also we will read this one as one only you know we are not uh, reading this symbol as this some other number okay wherever you are writing this symbol we will call that symbol always as one 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 like that only you know in any case if you write this symbol we will call that number as one only okay if, if anywhere you will write for example this symbol three okay wherever you will write that symbol we will read that symbol as a three only okay so that's why a symbol which has a fixed value those are known as a constants so easily we can say that variables means literals and constant means numericals okay literals are nothing but alphabets okay english alphabets or greek alphabets also we can take it as variables and here constants means we have to take it as numerical values so this is about that variable and constant so after that variable and constant we have to discuss about that a term so what about the term here term means the combination of a variable and the constant the combination of a variable and a constant or a single variable or a single constant also we will call that one as a term okay let us see that one next one is a term which means a single variable a single variable or a single constant or a combination of or a combination of a variable and a constant is called a term okay just see here what is that a single variable or a single constant or a combination of a variable and a constant here combination of a variable and constant i'm saying how those two we can com combine those two means we will discuss just now just listen so a single variable or a single constant first we will discuss about that here variable means we know that as well as we know about that constant also so for example if you take that x that is a single variable or not here i taken only one variable so i'm saying this one as a single variable so we can say that this is also a term okay we can say this is also a term okay and in the same way here i'm going to write this symbol as okay this is one of the symbol what is that symbol how we will call this symbol 
this symbol we will call it as five only no so this is a constant or not so this is a numerical value so this is a constant so we will call this one as a constant term constant term means it has a constant values which means numerical values okay so this is also a term now come to that what about that a combination of a variable and constant how we can combine those two okay by using by using multiplication by using multiplication or division by using multiplication or division we can combine that any two variables or any two constants or a con variable and a constant okay here i taken that two separate here a single variable i taken here a single constant i taken now i'm going to take that it's a combination that is 5x 5 x just observe this one carefully here 5 x means this is nothing but 5 into x this is nothing but 5 into x okay here the same one i'm going to take this one as 5 by x or x by 5 5 by x or x by 5 anyway i'm going to take this one as a 5 by x which means 5 divided by x okay so which fundamental operations we use it here one is a multiplication another one is a division so we use it here to fundamental operations so what is the meaning of the term means here a single symbol okay that is either a variable or a constant or the combination of a variable and a constant by using the fundamental operations a multiplication or a division is called a term so here we can say that x is a term 5 is a term 5x is a term 5 by x is also a term okay so we will call these all are as terms okay so this is the definition of terms now here 5 by x is there so what is the power of x here what is the power of x and here 5x is there so here what is the power of x just see here here 5x is there so here the power is nothing is there means we have to write it as 1 no in that square roots already you know about that power always we are saying squares means its power as 2 no so here power nothing is there means we have to write it as 1 so 5x power nothing is there means on that variable only we have to write that powers okay so x power 1 next here 5 by x is there so here what is the power of x Yes, here also power of x is 1 only. But when you convert this one as 5 into x power, okay, we have to write it as a multiplication order. Then 5 x power 1 become as x power minus 1. Okay, why? Because in that denominator x power is positive. When you are going to write that one in that numerator, then its power become as negative. Okay, for example, here x square is there. So, that one become as 5 into x power minus 2. For example, here 5 by x cube is there. So, when you are writing in this method, which is equals to 5 into x power plus 3 become as minus 3. Okay, for example, here minus 3 is there means that one become as plus 3. Okay, in that way we have to express that terms. Okay, so now we will discuss about the degree. Why madam here we are discussing about that powers means uh, to discuss about degree. So what about the degree here? The highest power of a term is called degree. The highest power of a term okay, is called degree. So just see here. So here degree of a term means for example 5xy. Is it a term or not? Is it a term or not? Yes, it is a term. Why? Because this is the combination of a, a constant and a variable. For example, here constant is not there. Then also we can say that xy is a term only, no? Okay. So, whatever it may be here, 5xy is a term. Now, how we will write that degree? Okay. Before going to write that degree, we have to know about that what are that powers of that given variables. So, here what I told you that powers we have to apply for that only variables. So, 
Here x power nothing is there means 1 and y power nothing is there means that is also 1. So what is that degree of this term means here x power 1 y power 1. So we have to calculate this one as 1 plus 1 is equals to 2. So 2 is the degree here. 2 is that degree. Okay. Next for example x y z x y z is a term or not yes x y z is a term why because x y z are variables so this term is formed by the combination of three different variables by using the fundamental operation multiplication okay so that's why here x power 1 y power 1 z power 1 so what is the degree here 1 plus 1 plus 1 is equals to 3 is the degree clear next 1 by 2 p square q r cube like this there so what is the degree here okay here it's a numerical value whatever it may be either that is a fraction or that is an integer that is a negative integer whatever it may be okay no need to say about that uh, numerical value here just we have to observe that what are the powers of that given variables uh, okay so here 2 and the power of q is 1 and r cube so what is the degree here yes that is 2 plus 1 plus 3 just we have to add that all the powers of the variable in a single term okay that is the main point in a single term okay so 2 plus 1 plus 3 is equals to 6 so what is the degree of that given term that is 6 6 is the degree of a given term that is a half p square q power 1 r cube is it clear to you okay so next we will discuss about that degree of an expression okay in that next i will tell you that one so after that degree we have to discuss about that expression okay what is that expression so variable means a single symbol which can take any value of a certain set so a constant means it has a fixed value okay term means what we taken either a single variable or a single constant or the combination of a variable and a constant by using the fundamental operations multiplication and division now what about that expression here the combination of terms here the combination of terms by using the fundamental operations addition or subtraction addition or subtraction then we will call them as expressions then we will call them as expressions once see here okay so expression means here i'm going to take that any two variables x plus y x plus y x is a single term y is a single term okay so here we taken the two terms now x and y are two terms those two terms are combined by the fundamental operation addition okay so 2x minus y 2x is one of the term y is another single term okay so the combination of these two terms by using that fundamental operation subtraction okay is it clear so if that expression which are in the form of which are having that variables then we will call them as algebraic expressions and another way also we can write no see here 2 plus 3 why because not only a variable is in a term right here constant is also a term a single constant also we can say that one as a term right so here 2 is one of the term 3 is another term so the combination of these two terms by using addition okay so here 2 minus 3 2 minus 3 madam here we have to use only addition or subtraction we can use that multiplication and division also as terms if you take that multiplication we will get it as a term and if you take the division we will get it as a term only no so the combination of those two terms we will call them as expressions that's why i told you here addition and subtraction okay just for difference uh, for showing the difference only okay so here what we will call this type of expressions and what we will call this type of expressions just observe that this expression is containing variables okay and this expression is also containing that variables numerical there but along with that numerical we are having that variables also no so this type of expressions we will call it as uh, algebraic expressions we will call them as uh, algebraic expressions 
okay and here when you observe this expression here we can say that uh, here 2 3 those two also constants only and here also 2 3 that is also constants only so that's why here we will call these expressions as a numerical expressions what is that numerical expressions Okay, so we have that how many types of expressions, two types of expressions, one is numerical expression, another one is algebraic expression. So algebraic expression means an expression which contains at least one variable, at least one variable we will call that expression as algebraic expression. If that expressions containing only numerical values, then we will call that expressions as numerical expressions. Okay, so this is the difference between algebraic expression and numerical expression. So now we are going to, we are entering into that concept. Okay, still just introduction about that, how we will get that algebraic expression, still what we discussed that is totally related to introduction. Okay, now in that next video we are going to discuss about that algebraic expressions and equations. Okay.